Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Safe and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use raindrop.io. If you are interested in finding out how to use this platform to organize your bookmarks with ease, then watch this tutorial to the end. And now let's get started. First of all, you need to create your own account. Here I will just log in my account. I will use Google and I will pick my account and here is how your raindrop will look like. So basically, first of all, you need to install the browser extension from here. So click on this and choose the browser you are using. Here I'm using Google Chrome, so I will pick it up. And now I will press on add to Chrome here, add extension, and now let's wait for it to load. And it's done. So my extension has been successfully added so I can search on it. For the extensions, I will press on manage extensions here. And I will navigate to find it. Here it is. This is my extension, so I can press on details to find more details here. I can also bend to toolbar to access it easier. Like that. So here it is. I can access it easily from here. So after installing the extension, now let's go to the um, website that you want. For example, let's say something easy like Google. And when it loads, I can press on my extension here. And here you can find the URL of the website that you are on. You can also add a note. You can add it to a specific collection, which we will do later in this tutorial. You can add tags and you can just save it from here. So once you save it, you can go to uh, Raindrop once more. Let's go back. And... We can go to our bookmarks and here you can find Google saved successfully. So this is basically how you can add your bookmarks. Now, of course, you have many categories of the, of the websites that you visit. So for example, let's say you have specific websites that you need for your own work or your own business, like LinkedIn, for example. So you will need to categorize them in a specific folder or list. This is done by creating on the plus side here and starting a new collection so let's say for example work and press on add here and it's added so now let's go to linkedin for example So here, for example, I want to um, save my profile. So I will go to my own profile here. And I will open this extension. Then I will find the link here. Now I can go to collection and press on this drop down menu and select work. Then let's now go to um, our raindrop and refresh this page and here is our LinkedIn saved successfully you can also press on more to find more bookmarks if you saved them so that you can easily categorize your own different websites for different purposes now there are, there is another feature which is called tags so when you save for example your bookmark or your bookmark like this you can also um, go to tags and add a tag, for example, like portfolio. And now after adding it, you can go back to your uh, raindrop and you can um, search here based on tags. So you can filter here without tags. Let's just refresh it because we already added our tag and see if it works. 
after refreshing, you can see that uh, LinkedIn has disappeared. And now you can see a new tag, which is portfolio. However, I misspelled it. So if you did something like this and you want to edit on your tag, you can just go again to the website and click on the extension here. And now you can, one second. I will just re-click on it. And here you can see the tag and you can also edit it. So let's say portfolio here, then press enter. And now let's go back to our raindrop and refresh this page. And here it has been edited and the old one has been removed. So basically this is how you can control your tags and how you can filter using them. Now let's see another feature. But before doing so, I would like to explain something is why this um, ta this uh, website exists in no tags while I already created a tag for, for it. This is because I created it twice. I created, uh, I created it, uh, naming it portfolio in wrong spelling. Then I recreated it and used portfolio with the right spelling. So if I will do so, I will need to remove the older ver version from remove here. And then I will only have the one version, which is tagged as portfolio. You can also edit on your uh, bookmarks, not, not by, you don't have to just go to the website itself and edit on it. You can edit on it from raindrop by just clicking on edit here, and you will be able to access on the same window that you did in the uh, website itself. You can also add any files related to your website here. And finally, I will talk about the last feature in this tutorial, which is sub collections. So if you want to uh, create like a sub collection or a sub category from work, like uh, if you have more than a job and you need to create um, one collection for each job, you can just go here and click on create nested collection. And here you have a nested collection that you can use, uh, which is um, uh, sub based from work, which is the main collection. Now, if you want to share or export your own um, bookmarks, you can go here to share and you can um, share this public page. You can embed it in your own website. You can use collaboration um, with other uh, people like inviting them by mail. You can also save a local copy to your device by going to export here and choose what the type of the copy will be HTML if you are interested in coding or if you want to include it in your own website or you can use CSV or text. So uh, this is basically how easy you can use Raindrop to organize your own bookmarks. And that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.